Hello everyone, I am Puranjay Chatterjee from Cover and I will be demonstrating a solution for migration and synchronization between HP Quality Center or what we call HP LM and Microsoft Team Foundation Server. So I will begin by detailing out the structure of uh, HP LM project and then we will go into the details of how to migrate it using Cover Omnibus to a Team Foundation Server project. So let's begin by logging into HP Quality Center or HP LM. Let's go to requirements first and we'll see that there are quite a few requirements in here but we'll focus on this particular requirement number 13 called need OS different types of policies. Let's go to test plan now and we can see there are three different tests which are associated with this particular requirement recurring policy, scheduled policy and event driven policy. So let's open up one of these tabs or tests say the scheduled policy. Here we see that there are four different steps in this particular test first one has an attachment with it, the second one is a manual step, the third one go to URL has a parameterized value and the fourth one the call step is basically a call to another test altogether. So that's what it is called as call to test in HPL. So let's now log into the Covert solution from where we will do the migration. So we can see here that QC and TFS are registered in the Covert solution as two different tools. So this is a multi-tool integration platform. So you can have more than two tools. And we will click on synchronize so that we can bring in the artifacts from Quality Center to the Team Foundation Server project. Let's just name it as QCTFS Data Migration. So instance one is Quality Center, project is Cover underscore demo and in Team Foundation Server we are mapping it to a project called Cove Demo. So let us select uh, starting entity, test lab. And on the TFS side, let us select test plan. So these two entities are mapped to each other. There is a entity mapping already defined in Cover between QC and TFS called test plan mapping. So this is used to map the individual fields from Quality Center to Team Foundation Server. It's already been created for this migration. I'm not going into the details of that mapping screen. And let's put in our criteria here. Something like the test set ID is greater than 13. Let's click on this one, add non-matched items of instance 1 to instance 2, meaning that those items which are found in instance 1, that is quality center and not found in Team Foundation Server, should be added to Team Foundation Server. And we click on save. So this triggers off the synchronization between these two particular projects from these two tools and we can come back and see the status of this synchronization from a different page or we can open up Team Foundation Server and check on the project directly. 
So let's open up Team Foundation Server. So this is the project in Team Foundation Server. And this is a query defined by Covere which shows all the artifacts that got imported starting from ID 63 to 69. We can see that all the artifacts are here, a bug called schedule policy not firing, then the shared step event driven policy which was actually the call to test in HPLM and the test cases, the three test cases and also the requirement. So all this data has seamlessly moved from HPLM to Microsoft Team Foundation Server. Now we'll check on the relationships between these artifacts and also how we can maintain them in sync between the two tools. So this is the requirement and in the area, classification area, we can see that Cove Demo slash requirements is the area path. So it is organized in the same hierarchy in the HP Quality Center or ALM project. So we can check that by going back to Quality Center and opening up the requirement. It's under the requirements node and that's why we can see that Cove Demo underscore requirements is given as the area path. And within that we can see that one defect is associated, the bug schedule policy not firing, the two tests schedule policy and recurring policy are also here. Now let's go to the test tab. So the test lab has come across here as a test plan called test lab for policies and we have the three test over here schedule policy, the login test which was the automated test and also the recurring policy. The three tests have already got added within this test suite. And when we open up the schedule policy we can see that all the four steps are copied over to the Team Foundation server. The first one has the attachment, second one was a manual step, the third one that is go to URL is the parameterized step and the fourth one is the call to test. So in this case it is showing up as a shared step. So if you look at carefully at this step go to URL equal to at the rate URL. Here at the rate URL is a parameter and it has been detected as a parameter in Team Foundation Server with the value of www.covair.com and the fourth one the event driven policy is coming up as a shared step. So remember this was a call to test in HPLM and it has been copied to the Team Foundation server as a call to test as a shared step and when we open it, it goes to that particular step. So let's go to work and open up this bug. If we go to the history, we can see that the history data is also available here. And if we open up the links, we can see that the bug is related to the requirement. So all the relations also have been copied over from HPLM to Microsoft Team Foundation Server. So we can see that all of the data from HP Quality Center or HPLM has been copied over along with the relationships, the history, the attachments and everything 
to Microsoft Team Foundation Server. That's the demonstration of the migration solution from Cover, where all the artifacts from HPLM were transferred successfully to Team Foundation Server along with their relations, attachments, history and everything. Now we will take a short glimpse at how the synchronization works. So if required you can keep both the HPLM and the Microsoft Team Foundation Server projects alive and keep them synced together by bidirectional data flows. So we will open up one of these test cases and do some modification from the Team Foundation Server and we will check back in HPLM that the changes done in Team Foundation Server are getting reflected successfully in HPLM. So let's add a step over here. Step from TFS added by say let's make it parameterized here. Let's add a parameter called user and give it a value John. So here is the parameter and we'll type in the value John over here. And save it. So what this modification should do is it should trigger an event that will be captured by the Cover integration bus and this event will be pushed as an action to HP Quality Center. So let's open up Quality Center, the test plan and go to that particular test and open up the design steps. We will see that the test step just re that we added from TFS is showing up over here and in the parameter section we will see that the parameter name and parameter value is being copied on to Quality Center. In this way we can modify other fields also other artifacts also in Team Foundation Server and they will be synchronized automatically with HP Quality Center without the user's interaction, without the user requiring to click somewhere or telling the system that it needs to be copied. It can be kept at sync without any action from the end user. Similarly, it can be modified in HP ALM and that data can also show up inside Microsoft Team Foundation Server. So that's all I had to show in this brief demonstration. Thank you.